Hi guys, Lauren Oliver here for episode eight, I can't believe it, how time flies, of Ask Lauren Oliver, which I answer all of your burning questions about writing and publishing and life and everything you want to ask me as your older and wiser friend. It is July 31st. I've promised you that my hair would get crazier as the summer goes on, so I'm keeping my promises. We're going to dive right into this week's questions. I love the first question. Uh, this comes from Lisa1797 from Twitter. How do you know that the book you're writing is genuinely good and not just good in your mind? Well, oh, Lissa, 1797. Well, Lissa, that's the problem. You really don't know. Um, I usually actually think the reverse. I usually think that everything I'm writing is horrible. I usually have about like kind of probably between 25 to 40 panic attacks while I'm writing any novel about the fact that it's terrible and nobody will ever read it and I'm a failure and all of the fun stuff that goes on in a writer's mind. Um, but that's the benefit of having critique partners or in my case, just a small circle of friends or family members to whom I show my book um, sometime while it, sometimes while it's in progress, just to get some much needed perspective and also to get critical edits um, so that you, you kind of have a better sense of, of where you're going and where you should go. So I encourage you to um, develop you know, a working relationship with, with some close people whose opinions you can trust. At Byron Bryson McCrone asked me on Twitter, what was the biggest challenge for you when switching from YA to middle grade and vice versa? So I think the challenge is actually less creative than it is kind of marketing. Um, it's hard to get to, uh, to do very different things and switch between audiences. Each time it feels like you have to start your career over and build it from the ground up. And I think that's emotionally just a challenge. And it's one that, I mean, you know, it's one that I'm prepared to face and one that I, I meet very readily or happily, but, but it's definitely hard. Um, you know, with each, you need to basically, with each new book, reach a totally different audience, reach a totally different market, um, make connections in a different space. So so that's definitely been a challenge for me. And I imagine that when I write my first adult book next year, it will be just as challenging. If you could live in one of your book's worlds, which one would you inhabit and why? I would not inhabit the world of delirium. Actually, I don't know. I'm having kind of a hard week. So now <laughs> the world of delirium doesn't sound so bad. No, I, I mean, I would probably live in the world of before I fall just because I've already kind of lived in that world. It's very similar to the high school. Sam goes to a high school very similar to, to the one I went to school at. But um, I would only live there if I didn't, if I wasn't forced to endlessly repeat the last day of my life. Delicacy from Tumblr. <laughs> do you ever get cricks in your neck? Because I do if I sit at my computer too much. I do, I do, I more often than, but more often than that, what troubles me is lots of pain in these little fingers um, from typing and also from typing on my Blackberry. I still do a lot of writing on my Blackberry. So, so that is more, more of the, the, my ailment that troubles me. Last but not least, what am I reading right now? I am very late, but I am now reading Codename Verity and I'm really excited. I've heard amazing things about it. So um, that's it. That's it for episode eight. Don't forget to send me your questions um, on Tumblr or Twitter, on Facebook, whatever, and, um, and subscribe to my channel on YouTube for all of the future Ask Lauren Oliver videos. I hope you guys have a great week. Happy August, and I'll see you next week.